Hey guys, Kid Gear here for the Tech World, and today I'm filming a review of the IO Gear keyboard video keyboard video uh, monitor switch. Now what this is this is a KVM switch, also known as, um, and as you can see here, I'm actually recording with the iPhone 4 today, so we're gonna see how the quality looks, the focus, the, you know how it focuses in on everything, etc., etc. Uh, right now it's looking pretty good, so we'll see how it does. Anyways, again, this is the IO Gear KVM switch. This cost me only about, I believe, uh, this one was actually only twenty something bucks. You know, you always see those expensive KVM switches, but this one does just what I needed to do for a good price. It's like twenty two bucks at my local store. Um, as you see here, it comes with a bundle of long cables. And now let me explain to you what the meaning KVM switch, what it means by KVM switch. So. Um, basically, it allows you to connect multiple computers, or I should say, two computers to one keyboard, one monitor, and, you know, one mouse. So that way you can use, you know, uh, one mouse and keyboard set up, for example, my Apple keyboard and my Logitech mouse with, you know, one or two computers, whether it's a laptop and a laptop or a desktop and a laptop or two desktops. Or even in my case, today we're going to be setting it up with the Xbox 3. 60 so that's gonna be really awesome this is my modded 360 this is the old model um so it's gonna be really cool um now that's a little bit you know just to show for the video review purposes but mainly it's used for computers though if you buy extra accessories you can he uh, hook it up with your xbox 360. all right so what it comes with this separate here has one vga cable uh another vga cable here and uh your usb ports um two for each side one is for your keyboard and I don't know if you can see the little inscription there I'm gonna try and focus in on it uh, keyboard and the other one is basically for your mouse and you know power of course so what you do is you plug um, basically your main monitor into here so the monitor you're gonna be using and then you plug this into one of your desktops and or laptops and then of course you plug these two in as well and then here you would plug in your keyboard and your mouse one con to this is it doesn't offer ps2 connections like some other uh, kvms would offer just for you know legacy purposes because some people do still use you know ps2 type connected mouses basically that's purple and the green um, but uh, you know and since i have usb i'll be able to set that up um, and then, of course, you plug in your other computer or, you know, whatever device you're using into this VGA, and of course, you plug this these two into the ports. So you do need two USB ports available on each computer, which shouldn't be a problem, and of course, your VGA. So with that, we're going to edit over to uh, the transition to show you how you so set it up. So here we are set up here, and I know it's a lot of cable mess, but this is just for the purpose of the review as of now. I'll start it out later. So the monitor right here, the Acer 22-inch, is coming out. And that black cord follows all the way through to the KVM right there. So that's the main input. Now for the purpose of me using the Xbox, and I already have a keyboard on the MacBook, which is the wireless Bluetooth. Uh, I don't have a dongle, or except for the mouse. So I don't necessarily need to share the mouse with the Xbox 360 because I don't need it. But in your case, if you're hooking up two computers, um, you can simply plug, you know, a wired keyboard into there or, you know, a wireless receiver into there along with a wireless receiver for the mouse into the other side of those two USB ports that I showed you earlier. And then it would be able to share a keyboard and mouse to both computers, whether it's a laptop and a desktop, two laptops, whatever it may be. But for my setup right now, we're not going to be using it. I'm just going to show you kind of the purpose of a KVM switch and the abilities. Now, keep in mind, these extra accessories right here are for my Xbox. Again, this isn't included with the KVM, so if you want to hook it up with your Xbox, you need a whole other set of cables and stuff. Um, but, you know, just for the purpose of this video, again, I'm showing you this just to show you how the KVM works. You don't necessarily need any of this to hook it up to two computers. Um, here I have the VGA cord made for the Xbox 360, which goes into the back where the component cables usually go. Um, and then I bought a VGA gender changer, which basically adds another output right here. And this is for the audio. So basically, for the gender changer, all you do is this would be plugged into one end of the KVM switch. So what I'm going to do here is you take this end and you plug it in here. And so I'll try and do that with one hand if possible at all. So maybe I want to flip this upside down to get that to fit. Or maybe I can just do it like this. So flip this upside down and plug it in. Once it's suited in nicely there. So there you go, it's plugged in there. Sorry, again, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to kind of fasten it. Alright, so, 
that's one connection right there. Now you can also use the screws. It does come with sorry, my fingers in the way. Uh, it does come with the screws to line up if you want to plug it in and you know secure it, fasten it with the actual screws. You can go ahead and do that. Um, but, you know it's your choice. And then of course on the other end here, you would take this and plug it into your computer. For my purpose, I have that MacBook adapter down there, that white little dongle. And I'm going to be plugging it into there, and I'm going to take these two USBs and plug them into the laptop. So we're going to be back right after I get everything. Started. Again, so I know the cable mess is really messy. Don't want to clean up that. The KVM has one main outlet going from its main port to the monitor that you'll be using. The other two outlets, one is going to my MacBook. The two USBs are plugged in right there, as you can see. Um, and on the other end, we have my Xbox plugged in here. Now, again, if this was a situation for computers, basically you would do the same thing. One VGA into one of your computers and or laptop, um, two USBs in into that computer. And then again, following, you would take the other VGA, plug that into another computer like a desktop, along with those two extra USB cords uh, to power it up. But in this case, I'm using my Xbox. Um, so, as you can see here, it's outputting to the monitor nicely. And of course, the main attraction of the KVM switch is the switch. So if I was to click this, it simply switches from my Mac to Xbox, just like that. One monitor, one keyboard, one mouse, all works on one monitor. No need to have two displays up to clutter up the space. This KVM switch is really, really great. Again, you can do this with two computers. It doesn't have to be an Xbox. I'll list the components that you'll need if you want to hook up an Xbox 360 to a KVM switch. It's a little difficult. I mean, not difficult, but you need some different parts that doesn't come standard with your KVM switch. Anyways, this has been a review and overview and a setup of the IO Gear KVM switch. It really, really works well. The only con that I can really see in this is it just lacks the PS2 ports for legacy you know, purposes. Other than that, it gets a solid 4.5 out of 5 in my review. Really great um, product for setting up two computers or two devices with one monitor. Really does a great job. Seamless, uh, no drivers needed. Works with Vista. Obviously, it works with Mac. It works with Seven. I've tried it all. Really, really great op. Uh, really, really great product, I should say. Be sure to check it out. I'll leave links in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.